It's a bit windy and fresh here. That's why I'm going to saw a bushcraft style anorak made of this wool blanket. The only tool I need for the whole project is this Swiss Army knife. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. In the last tip and trick video I explained you my favorite sawing technique with the Victorinox reamer. Now let's try out if this technique is only good to repair something with a few stitches or if this technique is suitable for realizing a bigger project like an anorak. Please believe me, I'm really not trained in stitching and sawing and stuff like this. But this anorak is, is simple to make and you don't need any pattern. The only thing you need is the technique from my old video, Swiss Army knife, a wool blanket and a bit rope. And by the way, <laughs> from the year 1959, this is a, a, a very good year. <laughs> the measure of this wool blanket is 2 meters in the length and 1 meter 40 in the wide. And we simplify the shape or the pattern of our anorak in this way that sleeves, shoulders and neck hole is in one line. Like this. <coughs> this has the advantage that we have just to make two seams. This one and this one. And after we have to cut out the hole for the neck. The measures for the exactly shape of this anorak we take direct from the body with a piece of cord. Like this. So this is my chest. That's why we don't use any patterns. Before we start with the project we have to take a decision in which way we fold the wool blanket. If you fold it like this in the, in the, in the length you have so I have short sleeves but a long, a long jacket and if I fold it the other way I have long sleeves but a short jacket. I go with the first option with the long jacket and the short sleeves. But this is depending on the size of your wool blanket. Next step is I have to take some measures from my body. I measure the chest, the belly hip. So, chest, belly, and hip. In my case, <laughs> this is uh, about the same. <laughs> this. Now, I transfer this measure on the wool blanket. Now I transfer this measure here and here. I add on both sides two fingers. For better visualizing, I choose this choke. In a bushcraft situation, you can also take charcoal for, for sign the, the, the shape.
Now I measure my head. And I would say I add one finger on each side. This is the hole for the head. And if it's not big enough, I can widen it, no problem. And last but not least, I measure my wrist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I add also about the finger, like this. Second side. And one finger. So, now I connect the body with the sleeves. So, Next step is to cut out the shape of the anorak. In order that the two layers don't move, I fix them with some wooden sticks. The line I drew is the line where I make the stitches. That's why I cut one centimeter next to the line. Ich muss noch Werbung machen für Schärli. <lacht> das Swiss Army Knife Scissors ist ein bisschen small for this task, but it works fantastic. neck hole I decided to make the back side straight and just the front side curved because I can imagine that that's easier to add the hurt on a straight line than on a curved line. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> So now I start with the stitching part and uh, the cord you use for stitching has to be a bit longer than the length of the seam you want to make. So once, then second time. So I give a bit extra like this. So, 
if you want to know which kind of cord I use and if you want to know how the technique exactly work, check out this video. So, the first seam took about 20 minutes, but it seems to be stable. Let's do the second one. So, I'm done with the second seam. And now I'm super curious if it fits. So, first I turn it over.
so this with the cross in the front <laughs> and look how nice the stitches are wonderful seam so now yeah, it feels quite comfortable uh, yes actually I'm amazed and I can imagine for sitting on the campfire this is fantastic look at this <laughs> yeah, how cool is this and uh, yes just flip it over if you want to walk like this tschüss <laughs> I would say so like the the, the, the the base part is done and now you can tune it with with a neck or with a, with a hood or with a pocket for the hands and then you are ready to go to the fashion week <laughs> in Paris Cheers. the main part is done next step is to saw the hood and uh, this is the leftover from this side and uh, actually it has almost the shape of the hood but I guess the back of my head has a bit the smaller radius than this that's why I try to draw in something like this so this is this is just try and error <laughs> So I'll go in a little bit, like this. So, uh, next step is to saw this together and then I try out if it fits on my head or not. Let's start. So the sewing work is done. I made a seam from here to here, all this way. And now I turn it over, I flip it over and hope that it fit. Uh. <laughs> so so uh, I think the rate is a, is a bit too large, but um, it doesn't matter, this works. And now I start to trim here that I have a hole for my for my face and I want to have something like a collar can, that I can uh, put together here. <laughs> Let's start. I think I make a curve like this. Let's try if it works. Yes, I would say that's perfect. Now I pull over the jacket 
and then she draws in the shape of, of this neck part and then I know where I have to saw. At least this is the plan. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> oh yeah, super. Look at this. <laughs> so, to saw the hood onto the, the basic part is for sure the most difficult part on this whole project so uh, I'm really not sure if this is right but uh, not too much thinking working <laughs> So I'm not really optimistic that this works, to be honest. But uh, we give our best. So, so now the moment of the truth. <laughs> I would say it's not that bad. Now I want to make two of these buttons. They come here that I can close the collar. And for that I need a hazel stick and my Swiss Army knife. Now I make two holes. So. Now I attach two buttons, one here, one here. So.
Now I make the slots on the upper side. Try out if this works. Maybe a bit too less. But not bad. I make it with the scissors. It's more secure. That's better. So, <laughs> so I can't believe how perfect this fit. It's, uh, it's really great. You can extend it, <laughs> that you have something like a sleeping bag, or you can wrap it in, and then you have an anorak size. Super! <laughs> so, because the sleeves are a bit short, I want to make a pocket for my hands. But, today, we have no, no time for this. I'll show you the finished jacket with the pocket on the picture. This fabric is a kind of loaden and I like this fabric because this is unsensitive of flying sparks, um, it's breathable, it's uh, to a certain degree, degree waterproof and it's a fantastic isolation layer. I hope you like this video today, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday, ciao!